Hey guys, um, okay, so I'm gonna come at you today and we're gonna talk about um, <clears throat> frequently asked questions, some um, misconceptions as well, and some reasons why some people don't wanna do this types of business. So um, just anything that you're like, some hesitations is really what I'm saying. So um, kind of like I mentioned the other video, I watched my mentor for nine full months and that was, um, and that was even like, I already knew about what the business was and all that kind of stuff. Like I already knew everything and it just took me to the, it just got me the, the gumption to actually do it, you know? So one thing, one huge thing that I was like, is I don't want to, I knew the, I knew the workouts worked. I had done them forever. I knew I loved the Shakeology. I really believed in the products. They were everything that, um, the nutrition, the, um, all of our, um, performance line, I fully believed in that because it was no artificial sugar, very, um, pure and clean and it got the job done and, um, without you feeling like you're crashing and all this kind of stuff. So I fully believed it nutrition wise. So I knew everything like that, but as a coach, I was like, I don't have followers. Like on my Instagram, I probably had, when I first started, I had 400 followers right now. I have like 2,500 and that's like a little over a year. So, um, the fact that you don't have any followers, it means nothing. And you will see people that have like tens of thousands of followers and they may not be, we, you know, we think, okay, we have this many followers and they have that many followers. They must be super, super successful, but that does not entail, or that does not mean anything. Um, and at me as your mentor, I'll help you get more followers, build more relationship with people. Even if you have 400 people as followers, you have 400 people to invite and share this opportunity and share this business with, um, share the products with, share the workouts with. So don't let followers um, limit you because you you build your build your social media as you go. Um, and so at first, you're always in your warm market. So meaning people that you know beforehand, things like that. Um, I've kind of gotten out of that. Um, I've invited all those people. And so now I'm going into cold market. So people that I don't know besides just them finding me on Instagram. So I'm into that right now. Um, and so, yeah, it's a little bit harder because I have to build relationships with them and they have to get to know me as a person and know that I'm like trustworthy and know that I'm not just this, I'm like a mom that really just wants to help people work out, things like that. Um, and so I'll teach you how to do all that, how to gain your followers and things. Um, another big thing is people are like, I don't want to do this because I don't want to sell. Well, good. I don't want to do that either. We're not selling. We're we're sharing people, sharing with people this wonderful lifestyle. Um, so, but we're you know we're helping people do this through through our products and stuff. So we're not selling products. We're selling a lifestyle. So if you think of it like that, that's huge because we're helping people change their habits and change their routine and changing their lifestyle in turn. It's not just eat this, drink this. Um, put this on your face, you know, put this on your nails, that sort, of, that sort of thing. We're doing this, and then they in turn feel amazing about themselves. They get off medication. They don't have to go to dialysis because their kidneys are working a lot better because they're eating better, you know. And so um, we're, if you come at it from that angle, because, yeah, we do have products, right? You do. But those products help with feel comfortable about yourself. You actually are in pictures with your kids, whereas you wouldn't have been before, um, like you're saying, you, you get off a of medication, you lose your weight, you feel more confident about yourself, you get a good mindset, you emotionally and physically are in such a better place. Um, so that's kind of the, it's all about mindset. Everything with working out is about, all about mindset. This coaching opportunity is about mindset and just getting it right. So um, the next thing I have a list because I, I knew I'd forget. Um, the next thing is some people are like, I'm not, Courtney, yeah, you're a dietitian. Great you're a personal trainer, you know what to tell people. But the thing is, and I talked about this a little bit in my other video, is that Beachbody gives you the resources that you need to be successful with this business. You don't reinvent the wheel. You don't make the meal plans. You know, our business gives us this. If you want to help people a little bit more and make something else, you you could do that. The only thing is, like, you're, you're the um, accountability. You're the motivation. You're the inspiration for them to, and you just help them stay stay on track is really what it is. So somebody needs a cheerleader in their corner and you're that cheerleader. So um, we run our challenge groups from month to month. So we have one week as a prep week, getting people um, accustomed to the nutrition and where the workouts are and choosing the workout programs. And then the next 21 days, 
or however long your your challenge group is going to go, depending on what program you all are doing, um, is that's what you're going to be doing. And you're just motivating them along the way and giving health tips. And if you go to Beachbody On Demand, um, it, they give us, like you can post things about nutrition tips and health tips that our Beachbody has given us. So you're, you don't have to come up with a lot of stuff. Um, and you can do as, as much or um, as little or whatever we give you or additional stuff as you like. So just know that. Um, another big hesitation, people are like, I'm not extroverted. I can't like just go out and talk to people. Like I'm seriously painfully introverted and shy, things like that. I will tell you, um, we have a couple of people in the top 10 of our business right now who are, who will tell you that they were incredibly shy incredibly introverted when they started this thing so but it's also helped build them to be a person that they were shy but they wanted to help people they were shy and they wanted more for themselves um out of life and they kind of broke out of that shell by helping people this business has been a platform for them to kind of to shine their light i guess you would say and help build their personality and their confidence. So if they didn't have this, they would still be painfully shy and they wouldn't have helped all these people that they've helped um, and things like that. So I think it's a great way. Um, it's all about perspective, really, honestly. Um, another thing that I say, um, the hesitation is like people are like, oh, I, I, I have way too much things on my plate and all those kinds of stuff. Um, and my thing for starting this business was if I didn't change anything, you know, I'm a teacher and our salary just, you max, you max out, especially, I mean, if you max out for however long you work, but like in the year, you, you can't get more. You, and then every year you get a little bit of a bonus, those types of things. So my thing was, okay, if I didn't do anything different, what would my life be in five years? And for me, that scared the crap out of me because I have three kiddos. I want more for my life. I want to be able to travel. I want to give my kids vacations. I want to be able to do things and not have to worry. I want to send my kids to college. Um, I want to go like, I want to not only do those things, but provide my kids with the experiences and the things that come along with it, right? I want to be able to have our cars paid off because if we have our cars paid off, all this extra money could be paying for um, other things and other experiences and other things um, we can give back. Um, we can provide more to my coaches than need be. I can like get, send y'all on amazing retreats. Um, we, we have amazing retreats every single year. Coaches send their coaches on retreats and they pay for them to go to this amazing house, whether it be in Texas, whether it be we went to um, Grand Lake last week or last year. Um, and so to be able to give back and to show people how much we they mean to us is huge for me and my family. And for us to have the financial freedom, um, my husband's a football coach, and for him to be able to take a job as a head coach somewhere, um, it may be a pay cut, I'm going to provide my family the opportunity to do that um, and not have to worry about finances holding us back and, um, and just always having to worry and stress about it. Um, the amount of time and effort I put into this business is the, the, I get it back on my paycheck and the amount of joy I see in people who message me and they say, I've lost 10 pounds in the past month and I've done, got this medication and this medication and I have never felt this good, you know? Um, so it's all about financial freedom and things like that and um, what we're able to do with it. Now, with that being said is, the time and effort that you put into it is what you'll get back. Now, I'm a full-time working mom of three. I was pregnant when I started this business, and it was during football season. So if anybody knows anything about football season is my husband sleeps at the office on Friday nights. He doesn't get home until after the kids are in bed, mostly. So I do dinner, I do bath, I do everything for all three kids, take them to school, do all that stuff. Um, and then we go to the football game. Friday, he sleeps there. We don't see him till Saturday afternoon or Saturday night, about five or six. So I'm all by myself. Um, and I built this business on that. So I hope that tells you that like you can be successful in this. It's just prioritizing your time. Yeah, I wake up early. Okay. I go to bed late, not crazy late because I just can't function. But if I wanted this badly, um, 
I'm going to work hard to do it. And if that means spending another hour after my kiddos go to bed or after my husband even goes to bed or getting up early so I can do my workouts, get it in, I'm going to do it. And the thing with this is you don't have to have a team of 40 underneath you to be successful in this business, okay? I was in this business for three months when I hit the top 1% of the company. So it's just um, you. how bad do you want it? And what are you gonna what are you gonna do to get it? Um, and so knowing that is, I will help you all along this way. I've been in your shoes. I've been not knowing what to do. I've been kind of in that place where you're like, what what things are priority? What if minimum? What do I have to do during in the day? And rather than anything else, if I if I want to be successful in this business, what are the top five things I have to do during the day? Um, and so I will help you do that. I am here right alongside you. Um, and so I know those are kind of the biggest hesitations that people have um, about, like, I don't know if I can do this sort of thing. I see you doing it. And, you know, Courtney, you're like crazy out extroverted. It's ridiculous how extroverted I am. So um, those kind of like some misconceptions I know a lot of people have. Um, some common questions that you may have is like, okay, so um, I'll talk about like coaching the money tomorrow. Um, and so that includes like how much it is to get in as a coach nothing um but so and really so I just want to re-emphasize is like if you are already working out if you are already eating healthy why don't you share that with other people okay and that's what I really focus on I'm already going to be working out I'm already going to be eating healthy might as well get my products paid for might as well get paid for doing it as well and just sharing people inviting people and just sharing how amazing this workouts have been done doing for me um, and as long as we come from that heart and that background um, and with that intent, like it all just, it all just fall into place. Yeah. It, it's not easy. People will say no to you. You won't get, you won't get people, you know, you ask five people and not all five people will, you know, join you. Um, and, and so that's why I said this business is a mental business is because, and that's why we do personal development is, yeah, because it's hard a little bit. Sometimes it's not easy, but you just have to know that it'll pay off and people will see you doing it for, you know, for years and years and years. And they're like, okay, this thing's for real. Why is she, what is she doing? If, I mean, she's been doing it forever and it's working for her. So I want in. Um, so I hope that helps. And I hope that kind of slashes some of your misconceptions um, I had all these misconceptions too, or not misconceptions, hesitations, excuse me. Um, and you don't need two hour chunks in the day. Like I'm doing this after school. I had, you know, 15 minutes. I'm going to do a little video, 15 minutes, you know, while I'm waiting for my kiddos at school or I'm waiting for the medication at the pharmacy line. I'm going to invite people and I'm going to talk about it and things like that. So you do it in the nooks and crannies of your day and you, and we just kind of, and you learn through the days and the months and the years of how to do it and how to do it well and prioritize your time too. So that's what I'm here to do for you and help you through this. So um, having no time is not is not an excuse, 100% sure, because look at my life. My life is crazy bonkers and I still get it done. So um, I hope that answers some questions that you have. If you have any questions um, just about like um, common questions that you think might have, Pop them below because I can answer them on the next one. We're going to be talking about money tomorrow. Where's my little sheet? Um, oh, my lights in my classroom just went off. Um, we're going to be talking about money tomorrow. And then Thursday is we're going to be talking about, okay, you start coaching. What happens now? Okay. So, and then, um, and we're going to be talking about like coach mentorships and vacations and trips that you can win and everything like that. So, um, I hope you all have a good Tuesday and y'all take care.